So this video is so beautiful because this is the way that you find your purpose. I know that you're really excited about this. This is also for only for a Christian base, but hey, if you're secular and you're listening, I'm happy you're here. But let's get into the video and let's get into the number one reason, the only reason of how to find your purpose. Let's get into it. I know, I know that was a lot of hand movements, but we're getting into it. Okay, let's get into it. So of course, before though, we get into the bulk of the video, let's get into the definition of purpose. So the definition of purpose is the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. So now let's get into the scripture, which is Ephesians 2.10. It says, so for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. So. Your purpose is dun, da, 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 to follow Jesus in everything that you do. Literally, that's your purpose. Amen. Can I get a amen? A hashtag a Jesus lifestyle, period, and a story. Let me explain. Let me explain. Let me explain. So I have been struggling about this. This is low-key testimonial. So I had been struggling low-key about like finding my purpose, right? Or what does your calling mean? Or they, these different things, right? And so again, with my three to like almost three years, two and a half to three, well, three year journey of truly surrendered Christian being fed by like incredible evangelists who speak nothing but the truth. Hashtag Derek Prince, hashtag John Ramirez, hashtag a lot of these uh, true, uh, true um, uh, evangelists who don't have any politics involved, who just speak truth, speak life and they wake you up to all different forms of facets of what the enemy is trying to do in our lives and how to fight that. Hashtag spiritual warfare tool bag. Check out my video here. I have been struggling because I was like, you know, I was listening to like Miles Monroe and like some other people, you know, that was like, what is your purpose? Like you gotta find your purpose, find your purpose. What is that? And so in my mind, in my mind, I'm like, okay, like my purpose is like my gifts and my talents. Of course, like that is my purpose. I am here to sing, to dance, to sing or song, right? Blah, blah, blah. And then also maybe acting, all the creative things that I'm very, very trained in and good at or whatever that I'm professional in that I've been studying for over um, 15 years now, right? Um, basically 15 years, to almost 20 years, right? I am 35 years old, I know, can't believe it either, but it's beautiful, I love it, I'm here for it. I'm so happy to be a strong 35 year old single fully surrendered Christian believer. I'm on fire for it. I'm like better late, better now than late, you know, better, better now than never. Right. Thank God he saved me and, and called me back into my purpose, into my right. So anyways, I've been struggling. I'm like, oh my gosh. So then with multiple, multiple research, right. And, and my journey thus far, I figured out that your purpose is literally every single believer's purpose. It's literally the same thing to live a full out lifestyle of Jesus Christ with whatever genre of work that you do, whatever you do, period, end of story. And this also is incorporating your gifts and your talents that God has given you, right? I don't believe that God really wants you in a sort of occupation where you hate it and there's no Jesus and you're just fighting, but maybe there's a season for that, right? Um, again, you know, it's not always about our own happiness and different things like that, because that's not the true gospel. The true gospel isn't about kumbaya happiness all the time. I mean, there's trials and tribulations. There's like a lot of really heavy things that happen within the Christian walk. And so when you just are under a false gospel like this, that's just only about happiness and joy and all this stuff and money and prosperity, financial prosperity, that's a false gospel in itself. That's only like a tidbit, not even a tidbit of the, the true gospel because the true gospel, again, is about trials and tribulation, about ups and downs, valleys and hills and all these different things, right? Um, different seasons for different things. Some seasons you feel very blameless, right? Because you, you're you surrendered and following Jesus like me. Right now I feel very blameless even though I know for a fact I'm not. Um, but then there's other seasons where you fall off, right? And you, and there's a few sins that you go through. Amen. Amen. Okay. So anyways, that is it for me. Feel free to like this video, share this video, comment. You already know you want to make sure you comment because this is a family. This is a ministry. This is not about Christina Sayers at all. This is about Jesus Christ and what he has done through my life and what he's doing through your life. So share, 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 share your thoughts, share your emotions, share your struggles share different your testimony in this area share where you're at we need to hear it so we can pray for you or that people can see where you've been so they can be inspired right this is a ministry 
So keep that in mind. I love you very much. Make sure you um, subscribe to the channel if you want to and make sure you hit that bell notification so you never miss a bit video from me. I drop two videos a week and sometimes more depending on the current events because you know the culture is out of control and you know your girl Christina has to call them out in love, of course, because what are we to, are we to be silent and not say anything? No. I love you so much. God bless you. Until the next video, peace out. Love you. Te amo.